think the amount of money that they questioned Kevin about for spending was like $100,000. To put it in perspective, Kevin's birthday party that year that his mom threw was $120,000. Kevin's rent was $80,000. Kevin's Uber Eats probably exceeded $100,000 that his mom approves. Now, why would Kevin Hunter try to expose Wendy Williams of paternity fraud at a time like this? Kevin Hunter is still not letting go of his messy chokehold on Wendy, and he is determined to make things even worse for her. Just because Wendy just got diagnosed with dementia doesn't mean that Kevin is about to start acting like a decent human being. Allegedly, hours after Wendy's documentary aired and showed how bad things are for her, Kevin tried to shame her and their son, Kevin Jr., claiming that Jr. stole roughly $300,000 from Wendy when she was sick, and that Junior is not his real son. Kevin is determined to complicate matters for Wendy as much as he can. But y'all better hang on tight because this is about to get crazy. And the docuseries says the reason why her banks were frozen is because of her son. So allegedly, like her son spent about $100,000, which is very normal for her son to spend that type of money. Yeah, so Kevin Hunter is back on that BS, and for some reason, he seems to be getting some weird sort of pleasure from seeing Wendy suffer, because that seems to be the only explanation for what he's going on right now. Wendy has been going through a lot and a very hard time for a very long time, and we just got confirmation a while back that things are even worse for her. Her medical team recently released a statement about her current health status, and unfortunately, it's not the Good news that we were hoping for. The statement said, in 2023, after undergoing a battery of medical tests, Wendy was officially diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontal temporal dementia, FTD. Her symptoms, which combined impact her language and communication, behavior, and cognitive functions, have already presented significant hurdles in Wendy's life. This ties into what Tasha K told us back in 2021 about Wendy, because Tasha claimed back then that Wendy had dementia. Wendy is done, and I don't like to say this, Lion's Gate got her in a safe house, okay? She is not at her Manhattan apartment. Wendy Williams is living in a safe house away from paparazzi. Now she has lost all blood circulation to the bottom uh, of her legs and her feet, so she can't walk. Her voter goal is out of control, and she has early stages of uh, uh, dementia. However, her family was quick to call Tasha Kay a liar, with her brother issuing a statement on behalf of the family, where they denied Tasha's claims, saying, we haven't had any alerts like that and I haven't seen anything like that or have had conversations with her that would lead me to believe that. We routinely go up and check on Wendy. So no, we don't have any concerns concerning her mental state. It's all physical. But with what we know now and what these videos have been showing, she had been showing some signs of dementia even back then. But she couldn't get an official diagnosis because it can take months to years to get that type of diagnosis. Now y'all probably already know about Wendy's documentary and how hard heartbreaking it is. And not only did she admit that she's broke, but she also seems to be still struggling with her alcohol dependency. She was put in front of a judge and given a guardian. That was when they took her away from us. I have no money. And I'm gonna tell you something. If it happens to me, it could happen to you. As her family, we were all sitting on the sidelines watching and she was crying out for help. Did you drink this whole thing today? Keep it there. Okay. Keep it there. Given all that Wendy is still going through and all that she's probably still trying to get through in these months coming, you'd think that Kevin would at least leave her alone and not cause some more drama, right? I mean, that's the bare minimum that he could do, considering his betrayal started Wendy's downward spiral in the first place. But no, it looks like Kevin is determined to cause trouble for her every moment of her life because he is now coming after one of the most last people that Wendy really trusts and remembers, her son, or rather their son son, Kevin Hunter Jr. Now what makes this entire situation so sad is the fact that Wendy still loves Kevin, even after all this time and everything that he put her through. Maybe she doesn't remember the things that he did to her, or maybe she just doesn't care, but she is still into him. In the scene with Black China, Wendy couldn't even follow the conversation, but she insisted that she was Wendy Hunter and not Wendy Williams, and it just really broke everybody's heart. I love you so much, because even when I was going through my darkest times, like, you never use that against me you know what i mean and that's how you know that the love is like genuine and it's yeah. always gonna be there you know and i'm always being for you like straight up you can call my phone whenever i'm so serious and i think i'm gonna be back and forth from new york so i'm gonna be coming to see you more well, my real meeting is wendy hunter hunter yep <laughs> and i'm divorced yes I got no money. 
Yeah. In this other snippet, when she was talking to her brother, and she even thought he was Kevin. So, Kevin, I'm so glad you're here. Really? Really? Yes. I know you are. I know you are. I couldn't wait to see you. Yeah, it's very sad, and what makes it worse is that Kevin is still out there acting out, because not only is he claiming that their son Junior had been stealing from Wendy before her conservatorship, but he is also claiming that Wendy cheated on him during their relationship, and that he is not Junior's real father. Honestly, it's not all that surprising that Kevin would be pulling these type of antics, considering that he and Junior have been on the outs for a couple of years now, since Wendy and Kevin split. Junior took his mom's side in the drama, and this did not sit well with Kevin at all. But Wendy filed for divorce and she timed it so well that she made sure she served him divorce papers on the same day that he got fired from the Wendy show. I don't recommend that you work with your husband because I made him my manager and then when I decided to divorce him, he had to be fired. Okay. In other words, I made him divorced and unemployed all in one day. <laughs> But Wendy had been the one with the money in the relationship while Kevin spent most of her hard-earned money on things that she wouldn't even buy herself because she was cheap. Maybe $1,500, all the real fly dudes know about that. That was a gift, wasn't it? You didn't make us buy that. We bought that? This is part of our exotic game. We'll have to talk about that. You know how cheap I am, how could you buy that? But Kevin didn't care. He was living that good life on Wendy's money. So when she dumped him for having a baby on her, he was broke as F and desperately needed money to continue living this lavish lifestyle that he had gotten used to. Well, as they say, desperate times call for desperate measures. And this has caused Kevin to apply all his means to get money out of Wendy. He asked the court to make her pay him alimony, but it didn't stop there because he then also asked Wendy to pay him child support, which would have been completely normal except for one time teeny tiny thing, their only son was no longer a minor because he was already 19 at the time of the divorce. So what exactly was Kevin on? It was clear that he was only after Wendy's money and that's when he and Junior fell out. Junior felt like he was tacky in classes and he felt embarrassed by his father's behavior. Things got so bad between them that they even got into a physical fight about it with Kevin Sr. claiming that Wendy had been brainwashing their son. The fight was so bad and so messy that Junior got arrested for it. In the years since that time, Junior has remained close to his mom and has even kicked against the documentary that her team was forcing her to film, claiming that she wasn't in the right mind to consent to filming the documentary. In an interview with The Sun, he claimed that she was being manipulated by people around her who should have been protecting her. And in the interview, he said, I know there are all sorts of things happening that I know in her right mind she would never agree to. As hard as it is seeing her being taken advantage of, I know that if I'm making sure she, as a person, is okay, that is the important thing. So it's clear that Junior still loves his mom very much and he's paying to see that she's being manipulated and taken advantage of. He also said, what's been made more important by the people around her is that while her health may not be great, she needs to keep on earning income. And in my opinion, that should not be a priority at all. And whoever has been hired, they're taking advantage of someone who needs to get better. Well, the documentary finally aired and as expected, Kevin is back to acting a messy photo. He exposed Junior for trying to steal money from Wendy before the bank put her under a conservatorship, banning him from unapproved withdrawals from her account. This was brought up in the documentary, where again, Junior claimed that he never made any withdrawals that weren't approved by Wendy. I think the amount of money that they questioned Kevin about for spending was like $100,000. To put it in perspective, Kevin's birthday party that year that his mom threw was $120,000. Kevin's rent was $80,000. Kevin's Uber Eats probably exceeded $100,000 that his mom approves. Have you ever taken money from your mother's account? Not, with her, not without her consent. Well, Kevin is now claiming that Junior took money from Wendy's accounts, totaling more than $300,000. He claimed that while Wendy was going through all that, Junior himself threw a party for his birthday that cost more than $120,000 and he spent $100,000 on Uber Eats and $80,000 on rent. To be fair to Kevin, he's not making that up because it was confirmed in the documentary. But what makes people angry is the fact that he keeps bringing it up just to spite Wendy and further cause some more drama for her using her 
son. While a lot of people felt like Junior was out of line for blowing his mom's money, they felt like Kevin was the last person to talk about it by using all her money for years. And he even continued using her by forcing to pay him alimony. When that didn't create the drama he wanted, he then tried to claim that Junior is not his biological son. He took to his Instagram stories to say, serious question, can two light-skinned people have a dark-skinned baby? Someone please let me know. There's a lot riding on this, thanks. Now this is so messy and petty of him, but very much on brand for Kevin. Trying to accuse Wendy of paternity fraud on top of everything else that she's going through is just plain cruel, especially since he tried to get her to pay him child support for the same child he's now saying might be not his. It's just plain ridiculous. And y'all know the fans have watched the documentary and have a whole lot to say in the comments. They've been saying stuff like, let me tell you how no good will come to Kevin Hunter or his mistress for what they did to Wendy Williams. Heartbreak is trauma that changes the mind, heart, and nervous system. Kevin is responsible for a lot of this woman's decline and no one can tell me different. Kevin Hunter really is the cause of Wendy Williams' downfall. Shake my head, it's so sad. Never let a man have this much power over you. And Kevin Hunter will burn in hell, dead ass. Well, Kevin is being very, very messy, but I gotta know what y'all think about this. Did you watch the documentary? How sad do you feel about Wendy Williams? Well, drop your thoughts and comments below and then check out this next video.